Hello and welcome. In this video we're going to have a look at the Team of the Season Moments Gaisido card. Now obviously the Team of the Season Moments is like it's like Team of the Season but it's like a level below. Like he's not got um, the card isn't as good as you would have hoped it to be but it's still a decent card. Like loads of 90s but they're low 90s stats. Um, he's earned this card for his last minute winner in a 7 goal thriller versus Torino. Um, so his card has got four different objectives here heading heights um and obviously with this the same as with these other team of the season moments card they all you earn them by, by playing squad battles rewards rather than any sort of friendly or division rivals kind of thing so they're all in squad battles and you get a gold pack for this one 75 plus rated rare player for this one premium gold pack for this one and electrum players pack for this one so heading heights is score two headers in squad battles on minimum professional difficulty shouldn't be too difficult lots of crosses enough times you'll get those headers should be fine there's no win condition as well so just go ahead knock it out shouldn't be a problem as well just maybe make sure you have slightly tall strikers um, with good heady ability good jumpy ability that kind of thing that will help you for sure although as long as your player is free then you can score header with practically anybody um, crucial centre forward is the second criteria where you have to assist in three separate squad battles on minimum professional difficulty using a centre forward. And obviously because Kaisido is a centre forward card himself, not a striker, not an attacking midfielder, that's why this is in there. So you just have to make sure that the player you're using is actually a centre forward. Many people will have converted their players to strikers or to attacking midfielders, but centre forwards in this case is what it's required. Serie A Saviour. Score using Serie A players in six separate squad battles wins on minimum world class difficulty. So this is the win condition, world class, and you have to use those Serie A players all over the place and score those goals and win those matches. Shouldn't be too difficult, we'll just take time. Obviously, six matches on world class difficulty means you just have to pay attention all the way through. Um, Felipe finishes obviously he's got a knack of scoring finesse goals possibly that's what the last minute winner was but you have to score a finesse goal in 10 separate squad battles matches on minimum professional difficulty so there's no win condition here either you just have to grind through those 10 matches so hopefully it should be straightforward enough to get on world class difficulty a header and assist using a centre forward with us a goal with a Serie A player and a finesse goal. So you should be able to tick them all off. So the 10 matches is the most you're going to have to play for everything. So it should be fine. And I'm basically just going to use my Serie A squad to get this done. Dybala is a centre forward. So that means it should be relatively straightforward. I don't want to convert Ronaldo to one because it's just converting a card and converting him back. But yeah. I'll use the Bala, should be fairly straightforward to get it. Headers, Ronaldo should be fine with that. Finesse, they both can contribute Pastore as well. So, yeah, should be okay. Uh, last things first, let's have a look at the card himself. So, he's from Ecuador, which is an easy way to narrow it down. So, oh. Is it just him? Okay, there we go. Um, so he is a 91 rated centre forward card. Oh, there we go. We can do it now. Um, so four star, four star, six foot tall, high, medium work rates, which are good. And he's got some shot power on him, got grant in that. And attacking positioning is also pretty, pretty much perfect. Uh, the dribbling is rounded, composure a little bit lower. He's got good strength. And good heading accuracy, which I guess explains the heading. Um, a flare trait. It's decent. So, yeah, it's a good card. His passing is pretty much perfect as well, short-wise. Long is a bit low. And vision is decent. And the pace is good. So, it's a pretty much a standard Team of the Season moments card, to be honest. Nothing too extraordinary there. But, yeah, people get it. People do it because it's a free card, which you can either use in your team or stick in an SBC. So, there we go. That's what we've got. Good luck to you. Let me know if you complete the card, if you have any problems. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.